Bonjour, my friends. I'm Frankie, and welcome to Club Foodie. Although I'm not a fan of the colder months, I still like them because that's the time when I make casseroles and nice warm comfort foods, like this Lancashire hot pot. This dish is perfect when it's cold outside. With lamb, fresh produce and spices in a nice savory gravy, topped with thinly sliced potatoes, this is sure to become a family favorite. So let's get cooking. After trimming the fat off the lamb, leaving just a little, and cutting the meat into bite-sized pieces, we'll season generously with ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper before moving on to the stove. In a large skillet over medium-high heat, we'll add canola oil. And when it gets hot, without crowding the pan and working in batches, we'll add the seasoned lamb pieces and sear until brown on all sides. That should take less than two and a half minutes. Using a slotted spoon, we'll transfer them to a bowl, set them aside while searing the remaining lamb. When the meat is done, we'll add butter and reduce the heat to medium. As soon as it starts sizzling, we'll add onions, followed by carrots and celery which is not really traditional, but I like adding some. We'll give a quick stir and season with the usual suspects, ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. We'll saute the veggies for five to six minutes or until slightly tender, tossing them often. To this, we'll add pressed garlic and you know the rule. We'll saute it for only one minute. Now, we'll return the lamb pieces, including any accumulated juices, stir well to blend with the mixture, and then sprinkle on some flour. This will help to thicken the gravy. No one likes the bitter taste from the flour, so we'll keep stirring constantly and cooking for a couple minutes. Next, we'll pour in the chicken broth, add some Worcestershire sauce, and season with rosemary plus thyme leaves. We'll stir once again so everything is well mixed, add a couple bay leaves, increase the heat to medium high, and bring the mixture to a simmer. When it starts bubbling, we'll reduce the heat to medium low and simmer gently for 20 minutes, making sure all the veggies are submerged. When time is up, we'll transfer the mixture to a three-quart baking dish that has been greased. Starting from the outside of the dish and working our way inward, we'll place thinly sliced potatoes in a single layer. For this application, I like using my mandolin. It does a great job. Now, we'll evenly brush the top with melted butter and sprinkle on some mild paprika. Another non-traditional ingredient, but frankly, it gives a nice color to the dish. We'll cover the dish with foil, making sure to tightly wrap the edges so the steam remains inside, transfer to a 350 degree preheated oven, and bake for 30 minutes. Half an hour later, we'll uncover the dish, increase the temperature to 400 degrees, return the dish to the oven, and we'll bake for another 30 minutes or until the potatoes are browned and crispy. We'll carefully remove from the heat and let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes before serving. And my friends, this is our Lancashire Hot Pot. This comforting dish is exactly what we need during the fall and winter seasons. With tasty ingredients, this British recipe is one I'm sure you'll really enjoy. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit Kafudi.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!
Thank <laughs> you.